Good morning, God bless you guys. So glad to be here today. Okay, so I thought I'd do a video on fear. And the reason why I wanted to talk about fear was because so many people the last few weeks have been talking to me about things that they are afraid of. And I'd say some are afraid when it comes to their health. Some have been afraid when it's came to relationships and some have been afraid with regards to financial circumstances. So the first thing I talk about is health. And the reason why I wanna talk about health is because so many of us sit here and worry. And when we worry, what actually happens is we're causing ourselves to have problems with our stomach. So I bet most of you will probably agree at some point in your life, you've had a situation where you've had maybe irritable bowels or you've been running to the toilet one minute or constipated the next minute and mainly most of these problems are just caused because of worry in your life where one thing I'd say to help you to stop worrying regarding any circumstance is just try and not worry about what's going to happen tomorrow or what happened yesterday because the two days that we should never ever worry about in our lives is yesterday and tomorrow because we can't change what happened yesterday and tomorrow we never know what is going to happen anyway and so it's best for us to actually just focus on the day ahead. I would also say that if you guys started to do a gratitude list so when you wake up in the morning you say I'm grateful for waking up thank you God for putting me on that wake up list Um, when you breathe breathe in for instance there's so many of us that are have problems with our lungs or you know we find it hard to breathe so I'd say again thank you for the the air that you surround us with that allows us to breathe all the time that you thank you for the food that we have thank you for the roof that we have over our heads thank you for everything that you provide us with I think when you are grateful in your life and you show gratitude with everything that you have then the smaller things that you need or that you wish to have in your life they can come into your life but you have to be grateful for the things you already have I had someone say to me have you prayed for me and I was like, well, what did you want prayer for? And they turned around and said to me, well, I want to be six foot two and I want a big bank account and I want this, this and this. And I was like, well, are you not satisfied with the things that you already have? And are you not grateful for the health that you have? You have an amazing life. You are a doctor. You have, a, you know, more than most people could ever want and people in that are not in your situation would love to be in your situation when they analysed it and realised, OK, yeah, that does make sense. And so I think when you are grateful for what you have, then you allow more blessings to come into your life. OK, so that is a situation that I was talking about with one person. Another person was talking to me about a health issue. So basically, they had said that they were worried that they might um, end up with cancer. So I was like, wow, you've had tests and the tests came back and they were negative. And they said, yeah, I know that they were negative, but I still want to go and make sure. I just want to make sure. And I'm saying, but if the tests have come back saying that they're negative, why don't you trust in the tests? Because the more you worry something into your life, the more it has an, a, a situation where you attract. Have you ever heard of that law of attraction where what you think of is actually going to happen to you? So sometimes it's best not to actually think negative because when we think negative, what we're doing is attracting the negativity into our lives. I said to her that, you know, sometimes you're sitting there listening to this enemy of doubt and you don't need to listen to this enemy. You need to think about the positive things. So when we went through a list of all the good stuff that had happened in her life where she had changed her um, health habits, as in she, must, she was a smoker, she stopped smoking, she was a person that used to eat meat, she stopped eating meat. 
and you could see that there was um, loads of other different changes which I won't go into but there were so many changes that were actually saying if you tick to cancel next to that one you definitely can cancel put a cross by it now if you tick to cancel next to that you could put a cross by it now and when you looked at all the positives that had changed in her life it was amazing to see that actually Cancer probably stands a zero chance of even entering into her life because she has done so much to prevent it and diet wise especially has really helped her. So I would say do not ever, ever, ever speak of an illness coming into your life. Don't own any illness if you are ill. Try and say to yourself, you know what, that illness is going to go, I do, it doesn't control me, I control it and when I'm ready to tell it to get out my body, it will be leaving my body. So that's what I would say regarding any health issues, financial issues now. Okay, so in financial circumstances, so many of us, I'm guilty of this as well, we sit there and we envy other people. We envy them because they have a nice car, a nice house, they dress nicely, um, they have nice hair, they have nice things and you're thinking, oh, I wish I had that or I wonder how they're doing that. But we never ever actually try to put those, um, we never have goals in our life in order to achieve the things that we see other people with. All we do is say, gosh, I can't believe that they were wearing that again. But really secretly, deep down, the reason why we're probably upset about it is because we wanted it for ourselves. So if you've got a goal in your life where you want to look, not just look, um, but and feel financially successful, but you want to be financially successful, I believe that you have to set a goal in your life So the goal has to be, okay, wherever you are at this present time in life, the best thing about a goal is it can be set at any time. It doesn't have to be set on the 1st of January of the beginning of the year, New Year's resolution that may get broken two weeks later. It can be set any time. So success starts in little baby steps. So for me, with success, what I've started doing in my life is I exercise every morning. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it helps me to feel free in my mind. It also makes me feel good when I look in the mirror and I'm like, wow, I feel amazing. My body feels, well, looks amazing in the mirror. And I'm like, wow, is that you looking good there? So yeah, I'm looking at myself and really um, happy with the results. And obviously every single day that I'm progressing, I can see a I can see something else in the mirror and I love it and so that's one of my successes another success that I've done is I actually try and do two things every day that I want to accomplish before nine o'clock so I give myself a target of what I would like to accomplish and it could be something small as just making sure that my bedroom is tidy before I leave the house or the kitchen's done or whatever the situation is but I always also say today is going to be a good day and I think even when I may have felt a bit upset or something might have upset me just showing that I want to have a good day has actually started to rub off on the rest of the family because then they're saying oh today is going to be a good day today I'm going to get an achievement point for this and today I'm going to have a great day in this oh actually my planner looks fantastic and all my lessons look amazing and I'm happy to be with all those people or those teachers so today is going to be a good day so it is good to speak positivity in your life to allow and attract it into your life so all I would say is do not get in your own way with your own negative thoughts the only person that is getting in your way is yourself so you have to take away negativity and allow the positive thoughts to enter. I believe that you guys are going to have an amazing day today and I would love for you to comment and say today is going to be awesome. Anyway, thank you for listening and watching my video. I would love it if you could subscribe 
and click the like button because it helps me to get other people to see my videos and it also helps me to share love and positivity to everyone else so thank you again for watching the video god bless you guys don't forget to subscribe stay blessed and be blessed god bless you